Guys, I am not okay. And you know that expression that's like, it's okay to not be okay? No, that does not apply in this circumstance. I'm not okay, it's not okay, we're not good right now. And you might be thinking, Clancy, what, what's, what's going on? This is what's going on. This isn't even the worst of it, guys. I got fried this weekend, absolutely fried. The worst part is my stomach and my shins. And right now I know all of you guys are gonna run down to the comments and tell me I am an absolute idiot. I would really just appreciate a kind of comment instead because I know I'm dumb. I, I know it, like I'm always saying I wanna protect my skin, this and that. I mean, last summer I truly didn't get burned once. My face, and th that you're probably like, what the heck, like well, how is this happening while your face is legit paler than a snowflake? That's one thing, I will protect my face at all costs like at all costs. I was just looking in the mirror the other day and I have felt so pale and disgusting. I'm even looking in the camera right now, my pale face, and I'm like, this is just gross. Like, you know when you just feel like, ooh? And I was just like, you know what? Something needs to be done about this. So something was done about it. I laid out by the pool the other day for more than three hours without anything on my body. SPF 55 on my face, nothing on the body. And I just roasted, I deliberately roasted myself. I know I can't do this. I'm almost 100% Irish. I don't know what I was thinking, but it happened, it's done. We're dealing with the consequences. I was like crying as I rolled over last night. I just wanna call off work today and just weep all day. Hi, I'm calling off like for a weeping day. And I'll be like, what? Like a weeping day. But it is definitely not a, a great thing at all. It's really not. I did it to myself. And isn't it kind of crazy that in general, I was just thinking the amount of pain and trouble we will put ourselves through just to look good because obviously this is a sunburn, okay? But even like plastic surgery and this and that, I follow this YouTuber who's getting this like crazy plastic surgery the other day. I, I don't wanna say the exact name because I don't wanna out this YouTuber, but I have never heard of this type of plastic surgery. And I'm like, what, you can do that? And in her recovery process right now, she looks like she's in so much pain and I'm like, oh my gosh, I just wanna like hug her. And I did my own little dumb decision at the pool the other day. Hello, future Clancy here. Always has to make an appearance with some laundry in the background. Yes, we are keeping it real, but eyes away from the laundry, back to me. Um, I just wanted to pop on here and tell you guys that we talk more about this at the end of the video. I really want you to stay tuned for that, for that chat, especially I think if you're a girl. I just, I, 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 I really, I don't know. I just want you guys to stay tuned. I just want to tell you more on that to come. But first, I want you to continue watching this vlog because it's a good one. It's a good one. I want you to see it all. Just wanted to tell you to uh, not click out. Okay, bye-bye. In general, though, this is supposed to be a rough week, a sad week. My entire family right now, I say my entire family, my mom, my dad, my brother, and all of the pets are together in North Carolina right now. My brother lives in Wilmington. My mom booked a beach house in Surf City, so about like 45 minutes to an hour away. And she found like what she thought was the perfect house. She didn't want to lose it, and she just booked it. No problem for her, no problem for my dad, no problem for my brother, but for me, requesting time off in the news business, there's like a 40% chance you're not gonna be able to get the dates you want, especially just when you're new. And when I knew she booked it, I was like, oh gosh, like I really hope I can get off. That would be so nice sent in the dates and of course someone else took off this week. I think they're just a bunch of people taking off right now. The whole fam is together and I'm just sitting here at what time is it? It's like two something in the morning. I haven't seen my mom and dad in five months. I haven't seen my brother in over a year, which is kind of crazy. We talk on the phone like, I don't know, two or three times a week though. But still, it would definitely be nice to be with them. So this is just one of those weeks that's maybe not gonna be my favorite, just, you know, it definitely stinks when your family is so spaced out like that, like New York, North Carolina, Cincinnati, but that is life. Wise words from a sunburned Clancy Burke. Obviously, you're not even gonna ever take any of my advice when I look like this, so. All right, so it's 4.32. I just got to my live shot location for primary election day in Kentucky, and we have until 5 a.m. I believe our first hit is at 5.02 exactly to memorize all of this. I get a lot of questions from you guys asking what's the deal with your hits? Do you memorize them all? How do you memorize them all? And for the most part, I just try to memorize everything. And what my method is, I get here, I read it over a couple of times, I try to, you know, just really get it in my mind. Then I'll do my makeup, which as you guys can tell, I only have half my makeup on right now. And then we'll go in for like a true this is it we are memorizing it and I like to give myself like about a half hour to do all of that between the reading the memorizing and the makeup okay I am so sorry about this terrible lighting it is hurting my soul too I know but it is 4 58 we're about to go live in about four minutes and it's gonna be the the test did I memorize it all I spent the past several minutes reading it over as you can see if you looked at my original email I try to break it up into chunks you never really know if it melted into your brain nicely until you just go for it so that's what we're gonna do and I just need to 
gonna do some finishing touches like some lipstick as you can see I put on like a lip stain first that just makes it last literally all day I don't touch up my lips at all it's crazy and I mentioned this in like every video but this is faux by Mac it's probably my most asked question ever and then I also do a little little bit of lip gloss just to you know and fun fact I used to have to keep these out my lip gloss my lipstick all morning to reapply touch up not anymore those days are over because it seriously lasts all freaking morning okay I can hear in my ear that we are coming up okay bye what you need to know good morning Clancy Hey, Sheila, this is an election like we've never seen before. Usually officials are encouraging everyone to get out and vote, but this year they're encouraging everyone to stay in it. Man, the humidity is in the air. Do you see my hair? Like, it's just like, I can't explain. It's unlike peace. It's disgusting. Okay, okay, okay. I'm hyper today. I don't know what's going on. By the way, picking out a dress this morning, I tried on two others, which isn't even that many, but normally it's just you put one on and you're done, but I had to pick one that first of all covered my sunburn just because, I don't know, I feel like it's bad example to go on live TV fried that's why I at the beginning of the video I said like guys don't comment down below and yell at me but trust me I know that what I did is not good like and how serious it truly can be like I'm not taking that lightly it's done what's done is done I know what I did but yeah like I feel like on air it's just like a really bad example to have that visible so I try to cover it up as much as possible but then also the trick was I I mean, so much agony. Like, I needed, like, a loose-fitting dress. I feel like this is almost like a maternity-type dress. Not really, but I couldn't do a tight one. So, this was the winner. I felt like it was covering us, not exposing our lives. And I am excited because I just posted on Instagram for you guys to post assumptions about me so I could do the rapid-fire assumptions thing I've seen going around YouTube. I don't know if I'm going to do it in this video or not, but I just love seeing what you guys have to say. I feel like I can't imagine how boring my life would be if I didn't have you guys. Like, whenever I need entertainment, you guys just always come through. Look at how absolutely disgusting I am also oh my gosh that's so funny I instinctually just I'm used to my nails looking disgusting that I was about to have to like instinctively go like that but no they're done <sighs> guys this is what my life has come to do a full turn so we can see he is wearing a headband so explain the need for this headband uh, I've started doing a lot more running outside like I'm going to do the Murph right now the what called the Murph. you run a mile 300 squats 200 push-ups 100 pull-ups and then another mile are you doing it with Ted? Uh, or Katia. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna go down and do that. One, you get sweaty and I usually just go to like gyms and work out. Not where you don't really get that sweaty, but now that I've been running outside and biking, I get a lot more sweat in my eyes. It's honestly uncomfortable, so. Do you think it makes also a fashion statement maybe? I bought it for fashion and then uh, no. <laughs> And then you needed to come up with an excuse. Oh, sweat, sweat in my eyes. Zach does come home like drenched in sweat. Like I can like bring out like my shorts and stuff. Like Ew, sometimes, oh God, all the time. I don't understand you put your disgusting sweaty stuff on the bathroom floor. I could, I could just, I could wreck. <laughs> you put your socks on her counter. My socks are not sweaty. <laughs> you, yeah, oh, you but, don't sweat at night because that's a weak spot, you know, <laughs> or a soft spot. I sweat at night. I, I haven't been lately. Okay, no, Zach twice this year has woken up as I'm getting ready for work and like come in and said hi to me. So this was the second time, but the first time in forever, it was just happened to be his birthday. I'm getting ready in the Clancy room. He like strides out. I'm like, the only reason you're out here is probably because you want me to just be like, oh my gosh, happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Kidding, kidding, I kid. Oh yeah, you kid. That's I was gonna say, don't even see me. You look like intimidating. I'm scared of you kind of. Oh, yeah. I'm so intimidated. And I bought an Apple Watch. Yeah, this guy is on a spending <laughs> spree. Oh, yeah. It's such good purchases, though, I do oh, have to yeah. say. Mm -hmm. Your bike, you love. Apple Watch, that'll be great. So, I and support I bought it. I mainly for the fitness part of it. Meanwhile, I can't work out because of the sunburn. It hurts so much. Like, I can't fathom putting on a sports bra. It hurts so badly, guys. So, while you're getting fit, I'm getting fat. <laughs> this sucks, but don't worry. I'm it's all good. We're gonna we're gonna make it work, but oh man guys, I'm so excited. This stuff, Jenna gave it to me. Oh my gosh, aloe vera. I'm about to put this all over my body after I'm done with work because I'm actually in the middle of doing a web script. But here's a little look in our fridge, by the way. Oh, let me show you guys my newest obsession. These things, they are the Zabra Singles Classic Hummus because we used to get the big jar, but it was just, I don't know. I like having it portioned out for me and this is what it looks like. And it's so cute and you just eat it with little carrots or I bought it at the store the other day. Some of these pretzels, these things are so addicting. It's actually a little bit dangerous, but it tastes so freaking good with carrots, grapes, hummus, and pretzels. We like a variety in our lives. Gotta put these back into their home though. And now comes quite possibly the most important part of the morning. 
Zach's clothes picking out because <laughs> by the time he gets back, I'm usually asleep and you just don't wake the lion up, you know? There's nothing more upsetting than when I'm awoken from my nap. Wake the lion up. I turn into like a, a, a tiger, a lion, like a bear. That is one thing. I'm, come on, am I not a nice person? You are a nice person. But not when I'm awoken. <laughs> or the devil. For the record, like I don't care when you wake me when you get into bed each night. What? Or the devil. <laughs> But the thing is, like, if he wakes me up when he's getting into bed each night, oh, I don't care at all. I roll over, I'm like, hey, like, good night. But it's when I, like, truly need to sleep and I can't get back to bed and someone just woke me up and I'm like, why? Yeah. What did I do to deserve such sadness? Nothing, dear. Nothing. That's why we put our clothes in the Yeah, that's why. Oh, my blanket fell. All right, anyway, have fun. That's funny. He has to have the towel to get the sweat out of the, um, so the, so the sweat doesn't get on the car. My sweaty, sweaty boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, see ya, have fun. This is what time it is. And ladies and gentlemen, we're done for the day. That right there is most definitely the best part about the whole work from home thing. Actually, this is the best part, getting to, you know, snuggle with my blanket. But the second best part is kind of just getting to do your own hours because one of the things that I loathe in pretty much just most working environments is the one hour lunch break. We get a one hour unpaid lunch break and I get why they do it. It's so that you can be available for more hours in a day, for example. I could be live in the noon. I can, I, you could just do a lot more. So I get that, but it really messes with my productivity because I am someone like, I like to just get things done. I'm all about momentum. I like kind of just keeping things going. Once you start, you just keep going. And when I take that one hour lunch break, it's just it just feels so pointless to me because I'm like, I just sat here for an hour and I just, I would rather just set things up, get it going, get it over with. So for these past couple of months when I have been half working from home, I don't do the one hour lunch break. I just keep working through that one hour lunch break. And then like you saw, I naturally get done a little bit earlier just because I wasn't laying around for an hour. And I know obviously this varies for companies to company uh, my mom's company they get a one hour paid lunch break so but for the news business pretty much everyone gets one hour unpaid lunch break and it's just kind of the bane of my existence if i'm at work wearing a dress with makeup on i want to be working what's up guys it is now two days later and i wanted to give you an update on my burn situation as you can see i'm swaddled in my beautiful fluffy robe i've been switching to like my lighter summer one lately but i just needed like the fluff and the comfort because the burn is definitely, yeah, it's still, it's still there. And obviously, yes, I regret wearing the bathing suit I wore because, yeah, <laughs> so much fun. I'm still in a lot of pain and it has been five days since the incident. So what the heck is up with that? But that's what Google said. It said bad sunburns usually don't go away for a week, like the pain. And when I first read that on Saturday, as I was sitting there crying, I, I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, no way it's going away sooner than that. No, like it's. It's five days later and I'm still, I'm still hurting. I can't believe I did this to myself. And like the worst part about it is that it wasn't some sort of accidental, oh my gosh, I just spent too much time in the sun, silly me. No, I did this deliberately and I did this to look good. And I was actually just reflecting last night on kind of something I talked about at the beginning of this video, just the things that we freaking do to look good. I mean, the fact that I'm sitting here putting what is this stuff on my face? Like I, I fall into this party of just crazy people who will do insane things to look good. Roasting out in the sun, spending thousands on makeup, thousands on hair, clothes, it's insane. And then obviously there's the plastic surgery part, which plastic surgery freaks me out. Like I've watched plenty of before and after plastic surgery vlogs on YouTube and all that kind of stuff. Those freak me out so much. Seeing someone sitting there in so much pain and knowing they caused it like to themselves, like they are doing this to themselves, I, there's something about it that like I can't even explain it just freaks me out like for just I, I always get so I remember the first time I ever saw anything like it was on keeping up with the Kardashians Kris Jenner got I think a facelift <gasps> like I I get like legit and I don't want to I hate using this word I hate throwing it around but I get like anxiety about it I I don't I don't know what it is it just freaks me out and it's just so crazy that we like do these things to ourselves for what for, for, for what? Like for what? Oh. oh, and by the way, this is not me being like preachy because I fall into this camp. Like I feel like there are two camps of people, those who don't even look in the mirror. They don't even care what they look like. And I think that is the happiest group of people like who just don't even care because eventually one day we're all gonna age. You're used to looking youthful with no wrinkles, but that's all gonna change. And so the group that doesn't care about looks, I envy them. I fall into the other group. I fall into the group who has a beauty blender in my hand right now, who deliberately fried myself the other day, which is a health, like that's like a health concern. Like I could get skin cancer from that, yet I did it for 
looks. What? And by the way, I know I'm being highly philosophical about a freaking sunburn, but I've always been very intrigued by all of our obsessions with looks. I remember, I distinctly remember being in sixth grade and thinking to myself, why do we all care if we look like so much? I remember thinking to myself, why the heck does everyone care about looks? And one of our classmates brought in her hermit crabs for like some sort of show and tell or something. And I remember looking at those hermit crabs and thinking, Imagine if they judged each other on their shells. Like imagine if they were like, oh, like I'm not talking to you because your shell isn't like as bright as mine. Like I would think they were insane. I would think these hermit crabs are so dumb. Like go for the one that like is the coolest or like the funniest or the nicest. And then when you compare that to humans, we judge people based on their looks all the time. I mean, there have been so many studies done where it is easier to live in this world if you are a quote unquote good looking person. It's easier to be a salesman. It's easier for people to trust you. One of my communications classes in college, a whole segment was based on that, which is crazy. But I need to calm my mind, so I'm going to listen to one of my podcasts right now. I'm in the middle of listening to The Skinny Confidential. How to manage stress and anxiety. We could actually, we could definitely use that right now, so. And Michael sometimes Perfect. Not hey, Sheila, if there's one word I could use to describe the mood right now, it's swanky. I don't think I've ever used that word in my entire life. Just looked it up on dictionary.com to confirm it is a word. It is. But yeah, that's definitely the mood right now. This morning, we are here with the general manager here, Jack Olshan. And Jack, restaurant week is fun. It's exciting. But these past couple of months haven't been so much. I can confirm that. I am done with burning the potatoes every night. It happens every night, Jack. Um, but yeah, so I mean, th this, this week is huge for you guys. Huge. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's so important. And we hey, John, this year's restaurant week is different than ever before. For for example, here at The View at Shires Garden, we have these partitions to keep guests socially distanced. All employees will be wearing face masks. And then also, there is a ton of hand sanitizer. But one thing that remains the same is the food tastes incredible. So that was my morning for Cincinnati Restaurant Week. Seriously, going back to live interviews is the oddest thing ever. You'll notice I'm always six feet away from the interviewee. And oh my gosh, wait, wait, if you made it this far, you get a special treat. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot to include this in my last vlog, but when I was covering casinos reopening, we were wearing face masks, so I technically didn't have to be six feet from the interviewee. Because of that, I had my mic where I was, you know, with him. I'm not used to that. For the few live interviews that we do, we have two mics so that I could be six feet apart, so I'm used to not being like that to people, right? For this interview, I completely forgot. You will see, I put my mic to him like a solid five seconds into the interview. It was so awkward, and when I realized it, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> right now, we are here with the president of Hard Rock Cincinnati, George Goldhoff. And George, you were standing here when you got the news three months ago. Yes, good morning. I was standing almost in this exact same spot when I received uh, the executive order. But yeah, I am going to go because I need to um, mentally prepare for my gynecologist appointment. <laughs> yeah, it's just not the most fun doctor to go to. So that's what's happening now. And I hope you guys have a great day. Better than what I'm about to have. Bye.